couple of great guests, both, uh, as Ron Siegel, who's also on this network, would say, repeat offenders. <laughs> and uh, Randy Clarito. Yes. And Bellina Calderon. I think I'm pronouncing it. There's a middle name, too, but, they're, but I'll let them do that because they can pronounce that better than I can. <laughs> you know? I'm lucky to pronounce anything. But uh, anyway, uh, I think you, you, you may, if you remember, you may remember that these people have been here before talking about health care. Uh, we have One Heart Caregiving. Now, this is an in-home care service, yeah. which is, of course, very, very popular and becoming more popular all of the time. So it's something you really need to get interviewing people like Belina right now because you never know when you'll need it. And we don't want your loved ones, if at all possible, we don't want them in a nursing home. We want them at home. And in order to do that, they very well may need help at home. You know, even me, a young kid in my mid-70s, uh, had gone through that, you know, disease thing I went through for almost three months, and I needed help at home. So everybody is going to need some kind of help at some time. It may start off really small and then get bigger and bigger, but you've got to know who it is you're dealing with. And with that, let's uh, introduce Belina, and she can... Uh, she is actually um, the founder and CEO of One Heart Caregiver Services. So I'll let her take it away and tell, and she can tell you some more about herself, and then we can get into some more questions. Okay, well, thank you, Jay, and thank you for inviting us again into your uh, show here. It's always a pleasure. Um, well, let me tell you a little bit about uh, how we started the One Heart Caregiver Services Company. I actually um, immigrated to the United States in back in 1991, a long time ago. And after 13 years of working for my employer, which was a cellular phone company, I opened up my own business, which was an employment agency that specialized in placing skilled international workers or professionals with companies here in the LA County. And shortly after that, my clients started asking me for nannies and caregivers. Um, and when the call started to increase significantly, I realized that there was a huge market uh, for in-home care that I decided to open another company in Beverly Hills um, back in 2004 that specialized in providing caregivers to- hey, can, can you imagine how much more popular that is and more, more in demand it is now with so exactly. many more of us oldies now than there were then? Yes, yes, that's and, true. And it's said that us older population in the, in, you know, in the not that distance future is going to double in size. Yes. That's correct. Yeah, and we have like another like 20, 30 years to look into this business actually. Um, so the income potential, like you said, you know, the income potential was actually one of the things that really motivated me to start the business 16 years ago. Um, but what really inspired me to continue the business was the feeling that I got, you know, meeting our first client of, of being able to, to give back to my mom the care and attention and, you know, presence that I wasn't able to give her when I left the Philippines to live here back in 1991. You see, when I left the Philippines, my mom was growing old and she got sick with cancer. Wow. And for five years, she actually needed a caregiver, but I couldn't go there. It's like, what, 7,000 miles away. So I couldn't take care of her, you know, just be there. It was mostly phone calls. So I really, I really felt bad about that. But when I first started uh, doing the caregiving and I met, you know, older people that you know especially this old lady the first client that we had I felt like it was my way of giving that care and attention that my I wasn't able to give to my mom so that continues until today that's why we you know if you look at the mug that you are using it says caring like family we do care for for our care recipients you know like family 
Yeah, and that makes, you know, there's not that many. I think my profession makes me feel good about what I do for people, but not all professions do that. And yours probably is number one on the top of the list of a kind of profession where you feel you're giving back and you're actually helping so much. So what exactly, for people who aren't familiar with One Heart Caregiver Services, what exactly, you know, dig in, drill in a little more, what do you do uh, in relation to your clients? Yeah, so, so we actually provide non-medical in-home care. So the, what that basically means is help with activities of daily living, you know, like meal preparations. We do uh, companionship. We help them with, uh, you know, if they need help transferring from bed to wheelchair, for showering, for eating, um, ambulation, walking. A lot of it is is uh, just being there, you know, just, just being a companion to, to the elderly. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes families try to do that for each other, but I can imagine that gets really, really old and, um, and tiresome. Even though you may love your mother, your mother-in-law, uh, being a caregiver and trying to work yourself and other things, that's a little bit too much. Right. And even when they are doing it, they need relief sometimes from people like yourself, right? Correct, yes. So how would you actually uh, separate yourself, say, from other companies? Because there are some other companies that do this. We see them advertised on television. We see, you know, the gambit, including really inexpensive this and that, which I don't trust. But, you know, how would you say that uh, One Heart is different from most of those other companies? Yeah, well, one of the things that I'm really proud of with our company, One Heart, is that when we say we care like family, we mean it and we do it. You know, one of the things that uh, we are proud of is that we make sure that the caregivers that we send out to the families to take care of their parents are fully trained and um, vetted by us. So we do have a uh, probably the only company that I know here that actually really has a caregiver university where we train mm -hmm. our caregivers in-house. And right now, of course, we're doing the, the online training, but we've never stopped that. Also for our staff, we make sure that they're equipped with all the skills and the knowledge right. to, to help out our uh, care so, so this is a lot different than finding a caregiver on Craigslist, right? Exactly, yes, yes. You've got people who know what they're doing. That's and correct. And have been, been trained to, no matter what happens, Yes. they kind of know how to deal with it including alzheimer's everything like that because so many people deal with that incorrectly and, and lose their patients I, in more than one way i mean more than one type of patient they lose them all mm -hmm. they, and yeah all, yeah and also one of the other things i want to point out we are we are actually a home care organization which is licensed by the state of california and we all our caregivers are our employees. So we are responsible for our caregivers as well as the care recipients. There are so many agencies out there that offer lower rates, but they're actually referral agencies that basically just give you a caregiver who's not their employee. So you, the families are actually the ones who are the employ, employers. So that takes a lot of responsibility, you know, as far as the family is concerned. Yeah, and, and first, second of all, you don't know what you're getting Right. And then first of all, I would assume if there are tax ramifications for those employees, now you've got a family that's worried about their elderly people. And on top of that, now they have to worry about whether they're hiring the right one, whether they're paying their taxes or whatever. Correct. So stay away from that, right? Correct. Yes. I mean, especially if you want your 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 people to be in good shape and you know yeah. how's the company and your all your franchisees i say that because i know you've got lots of branches but they're independently owned which is something we'll get into a little bit later here when we talk about opportunities but uh how are they coping with the with the covid pandemic i hope they're coping better than i am <laughs> well actually initially when the covid uh pandemic started it was kind of scary for I guess for all businesses, but for us as well, because you know a lot of facilities actually close their doors to to vendors, including us and the caregivers that we already had there, who are taking care of specific people or residents, had to be taken out of the facility because they didn't want outsiders, you know, to 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 work right, within the facility. Wow. 
But, uh, you know, within shortly after that, actually, I think families realized that their mom or their dad still needed the care, like a one-on-one -on -one care of caregivers. So they brought us back in. Not all uh, caregivers were brought back in from other agencies, but because they trusted us, um, they actually called us back in. And right now, uh, what we made sure, and even until now, what we made sure was that all our caregivers were equipped with the proper um, PPEs. So we supplied that to all our caregivers just to make sure that, you know, when they get in, they're they're protected as well. Good, good for you. Now, we've already kind of talked about the huge need for a company like yours or for people like you. But, you know, just to drive that home more, I think, what is there, 10 billion people in this country turning 65 every year? Maybe it's 1,000 instead of billion, but still. <laughs> there's 80 million. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible, and not all of them, not all of them, uh, you know, are going to be independent. Not all of them are, well, let's just say some of them are going to live a long time. More and more, they're living longer, and I'll tell you, the longer you live, sometimes the more help you need. I was talking to, I talked to two different uh, um, clients today, both out of state, and they both had these conditions. One was a leg condition I never had heard of that needs pumping every now and then or whatever that's hereditary and somebody else. And they all have caregivers that take care of them so that they can live a normal life. Right. So, so, you know, so I think there's, I don't think there's a bigger need for any single product out there. I mean, food in general is important, but I know other than that, I think, you know, so, you know, as far as your brand, and let me hold up your brand here because I've, you know, I've heard of your brand for a very long time and I think a lot of other people have too. But, um, you know, what do you think is the driving, is driving the growth of one heart of your brand specifically? Well, I think what really drives the growth of our brand is the the people and the process that we have um, in our in our. Um, business uh, first let me deal I mean let me explain about the people that we have uh, here we with one heart we work employees staff executives everyone works not just as a team but we treat each other as family so it's also about the culture I think that's one of the of the best things that that's happening within the company that's driving us to grow everybody's just shooting for the same goal um, and and everybody wants to uh, adheres to our uh, and of course your rep you have you have to have a reputation or you wouldn't be growing exactly yes and, and that yeah. reputation has to be very good because it's such an important topic yes so yeah like like uh, as uh, as you mentioned you know the um we have grown out there and our name has grown out there because people trust us because we make sure that we adhere to our core values of being for profession professionals or professionalism integrity and excellence in our work right and i can't tell you how important that is right um so you you you've talked a few times about the culture of your company and how it supports the success mm -hmm. of your franchisee so i won't ask you to repeat that again although you certainly can because it's always good to hear <laughs> but uh when it let's expand a little on your franchisees uh or or branch owners as right. they were that's pretty much what they are right there's branches and each one is pretty much independently owned but operated under the umbrella of and the support of one heart central correct that's correct so they're continuously everybody in the franchises every single one of them are well they're meeting each other they're getting to learn from each other and they can all take those classes, correct? Yes, I think Randy can expound more on that. We actually had our uh, um, roundtable discussion yesterday, just hearing from everyone else and getting information from them, brainstorming about what we need to do, what's happening in their areas. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm sure Randy can also uh, yeah. expound on that. Well, roundtables are good. I used to be a lot more round myself, <laughs> you know. I lost 65 <laughs> pounds during good this. Good for you. For you. No, this was because of the pancreatitis. It's oh. not the right way to lose, okay? Yeah. 
but at least I've lost it. So I am no longer old, fat, and ugly. I'm just old and ugly. But the fat has been taken care of, at least for now. So before we move over to Randy, because I know Randy nah, always has something to say. Uh, Bellina, is there anything else that you'd like to add? And of course, you're staying in the conversation. So definitely chip into when, whatever uh, Randy and I are, are talking about. And Randy and I can get easily sidetracked about food and restaurants and things like that, too. So you need to keep us in line. All right. Sure. Yeah. I'll listen in to you guys and I'll butt in if I need to. Yeah. Yeah. Have, now feel free to butt in. And anybody else out there, remember, can easily butt in also. Uh, that phone number is 951-922-3532, 951-922-3532. If you have any questions about these people, or if you want to just contact them directly. Before we go on to Randy Bellina, why don't you give out the information if anybody is interested, and we'll have Randy talk about the franchise phone numbers and, and contact, but for anyone who's interested in getting help for their family members, who should they, how do they go about contacting One Heart? Well, actually, they can just give us a call at 818-906-4441, um, or they can actually go online and just type in number one and then heartcares.com, oneheartcares.com. Can you repeat that phone number one more time? Phone number is 818-906-4441. Thank you very, very much. And Randy. Yes. Randy, on the other hand, is vice president of the Department of Franchise Development. Now, we have, we'll let it go for him in just a second here, but you know, we have spoken so many times about how healthy it is to stay active. Now, this message, Randy's going to talk to everybody, even a 21-year-old who may have, who may want to be become a franchise owner. But I'm going to talk specifically right now, real quick, to us oldies. And when you're retired, the last thing you want to do is just sit around. Right. Consider a franchise like this or anything that you get excited about something that's going to bring back a lot of reward to you as we discussed a little bit before with Melina. So Randy, go ahead and tell us uh, somewhat about yourself first and then we'll get into what you're actually doing. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm Randy. Uh, I've, I've had 38 years of healthcare experience. So that's long, long years that I was able to be able to get fulfillment going into the home care business side of it and franchising and the reason being is uh, you know we get fulfillment while we serve with integrity and we are able to help as many seniors yeah. as we are I, li I like that that word fulfillment when it, yeah. when it goes and, uh, connected during the time that we're starting it many years ago we thought of how can we really expand services to seniors all across different states. So we thought about the franchising, which is also my background. So we're able to start franchising business because there are executives and entrepreneurs who wanted to be on their own, to work on their own. So this COVID pandemic allowed work from home. So this gives uh, some executives, also workers, uh, mimicking how it is to become like a business person staying at home while doing your personal and professional work. So more and more, many people realize, that, hey, this is something that's good because you have control on your time, you're working from home, but at the same time, you're, you're with your family and enjoying the comforts of uh, staying in your home, not anymore driving. So this more like uh, allows them to see, and also with the 30 million unemployment right now, so there, there's really a big opportunity to see that there is something out there that you can do on your own, uh, get fulfillment, and at the same time, serve your local community, the seniors, right. you, you provide jobs, and at the same time, achieve your financial dream. So we're saying our, our mantra is service with integrity and profit with honor. Yeah. 
So you're saying that a lot of people in the regular job market or executives are actually leaving those jobs to yeah. look at or embrace some of the franchise opportunities. Yes, because you know franchising is still considered the most successful and efficient distribution and marketing system in the world. So it's Whoa. it's, it's yeah. still wow. It's close to a trillion dollar industry altogether. McDonald's, uh, uh, Starbucks, uh, One Heart. <laughs> <laughs> so altogether, we're we're nearing the trillion market. Yeah. I was going to ask you to expand a little bit about why franchising is so uh, is so popular, but you're doing that right now. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, the market is brand driven, Jay. Whatever you drink, coffee, everything, wherever you go, it, it connotes it's brand driven. The market is brand driven, and because it connotes quality, if it's a service, it connotes professionalism, excellence, and really, uh, you know, uh, integrity yeah. as well. So it's important. Yeah. Yeah, and we all f feel we need integrity, and we need to we need to show integrity. Yeah, and sure. this is such an easy way, a good way to do it. Because if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. If you do it right, it's nothing but integrity, right. and that integrity is gonna give back to you so much as you would say fulfillment. Yes. So, what kind of training would somebody need? Uh, before they can get into well franchising in general or or your kind of, or or a one heart franchise do they need to have any kind of a background or jobs that they have performed in the uh, past we have fra the beauty of a non medical home care business is uh, we have franchisees who are non health care uh, people which oh, means sure. which means the system allows them to be able to follow a business model that uh, our company has built over the years because we run our own corporate uh, locations as well. So we have proven and tested marketing programs, campaigns, case management, and other services. So the training that we do is uh, our, our CEO and myself are co-founders of the One Heart Business Academy. So it's a continuing professional education, just like doctors, engineers, nurses. So we, we have developed, created, and designed training modules and programs that will allow franchisees to be able to follow a business model, a system, process. So it's continuing. There's phase one, phase two, and there's business coaching, there's field coaching. So the moment that COVID attacked the, US, uh, the USA, our CEO, gathered together all of the franchisees and we conducted an education campaign how to really go about this kind of uh, pandemic period. Well, so, educate me as to when it's going to be over. Uh, it's, it, may, it may be there. It's like an influencer, mm -hmm. Jay. Yeah. It's, it's, we're, we're being introduced to a new normal. So there's yeah. going to, no going back to the normal. So it's a new normal. We'll be able to, you know, it, it also teaches us like hygiene, hand washing. Yes, Take it does. Yes. And and mask wearing, because when I wear a mask, I look so much better. <laughs> and, and, and wellness program as well. Remember, Jay, it is in your show that we declared that our healthcare industry is defective. It focuses on illness. One That's heart absolutely true one heart focuses on wellness so what this pandemic teaches us is for us to be able to have well-being wellness in ourselves a stronger immunity system so that's something that gives us the realization that hey this is something that really we should be doing and that's that's the kind of help that we've been doing in the senior community not just providing the care services but rather wellness we're yeah. wellness advocates, uh, me and our CEO, Belina. So we, we, we're happy. Uh, wellness is such an important factor because, you know, just going to the doctors regularly, Correct. they're trying to maintain what they see, but there's so much they don't see. Yes. And uh, when I went to the emergency room because of the pancreatitis, they found a couple of other things that are wrong with me that really need to be looked at. Yes. And if that, if I hadn't had all those CAT scans and MRIs, they wouldn't know about it. So, yeah, that's a whole different subject. But, you know, getting ahead of these things is so important. 
and being healthy to fight these things off. And sometimes you need to eat more often. And sometimes you can't do that unless you have a caregiver in your home with you for meals and, and just about everything else. Now, you did, you did mention uh, training, and uh, Belina mentioned a lot of training. She mentioned a lot of training for the caregivers themselves. Yes. But I think you, you were hinting about training for the franchisee yes. people also because they don't need a lot of experience in, in health care should they decide to go with you because you can provide that. Yes. And there are several components in the business side. It's a sales and marketing, operations, and finance. So this is something that's very solid. Over the years, we've, we've mastered how we will be able to be efficient and uh, have some organizational effectiveness. And that is something that we replicate to all franchise locations. So it's, it's not easy, but when you follow the model and listen to the leadership, then that's something that would make you easier. So you're always there to back back up your franchisees yeah. and their people, yes. as we discussed before. So we've talked about how good fr the franchisee market is, but and you know we talked with Belina about why One Heart is brand is better than the others. Let's talk about what makes One Heart the best or one of the best franchisee opportunities. That. It's, it's proven that uh, over the years, there are a couple of parameters that you need to do when you go into a business. It's a sustain, it's attractive business, sustainable, and right now it should be COVID uh, pandemic proof and recession proof. So the senior care is going to be there for the next 30 years. So well, I like the way you put that. Say that again, because that, it's one thing to be COVID-19 proof, Yes, but recession you are so yeah that needs you need to say that again we 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 are recession proof business since 2008 and 2009 our ceo and myself has been there developing a model and adapted to the changing market so the the business expertise is somebody who needs to be able to adapt to the changing market so even right after recession after three years we reached our peak in our in our revenue performance so that is something that we pass on to the franchisees and then after about another two more three, three more years we reach another peak so we 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 continue to enhance the system the program so that year after year we'll be able to see growth and that's what we're doing with the franchisees we review their performance we see how they're doing and see how they're uh, and you're there to help right form. Yes, as elder care advisor. So once you become a real good elder care advisor in your local community, the business will, the, the good business will follow. That's that's something that you put your heart into the business mm -hmm. and business into your heart. Uh, you mean one heart into the business. Yeah, right? put one heart into your business. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it's like, we don't want them to work in one heart. We want them to work on one heart. Right, all right. That's big. And up. if someone is interested in speaking with you or looking, just looking to receive more information about this franchise opportunity, how would they go about doing that? The, the, the first step, easy step, is to go over our website, the oneheartfranchise.com. There's a down, downloadable franchise kit. It's a 45 pages kit that will be able to educate them, very informative. If not, I can do a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom meeting or, or physical both. Meeting yeah. Them. Like uh, uh, our number is 844-814-3278. Uh, it's 844-1-HEART, which is 844-814-3278. Uh, uh, they can email me to randy at oneheartcares.com. So I'm available. Uh, 24/7. You know, I, I, as I always say to the, every time I lecture Jay, for the guys they can call me Randy, for the girls they can call me anytime. So yeah. Call me this number. <laughs> I'm watching right. your boss's face there to see you. Know, the CEO. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, the CEO will call her. We know. <laughs> so, give out. 
Oh, well, I'm going to ask you another question, and then we'll go back to the to the contact info one more time. But uh, what systems and technologies have developed to support your franchisees, or you know, is some of that uh, just just what you guys have developed, or is yes. it, you know, in general? Uh, we- we, proprietary, we have a third party say. also, but we develop and enhance. So it's a technology platform that, as I said, we adapt to the changing market when technology is already uh, very useful now. So we have a technology platform that franchises can use uh, uh, from scheduling, staffing, uh, sales and marketing, you know, the CRM, finance, accounting system. So the three components that I mentioned, they're all together in there so that they'll be able to see uh, and they progress. don't need to be they don't need to be a technical whiz to it's, do it's, that it's right? going to be in their phone it's going to be in their cell phone so for them to be able to monitor all one the minute. departments one minute okay. so we have just one minute left but i've really enjoyed it and i thank you both very very much so belina one more quick time the Number for healthcare services? Well, they can call us at 818 906 4441. 818 906 4441. There you go. Uh, they can call us on that number if they need any help. And Randy, one more time with your phone number for franchise help. For franchise is 844 814 3278. 844 814 3278. And with that, we'll have to say thank you to everyone who's listening. To-